Hi guys, today is a very exciting day. My second clutch has finally shed out. So what I'm gonna do is show you the parents and the babies and show you the kind of genetics that came out of them because there's a pretty big variety. Um, and then I'm gonna go through each baby one by one to show you guys, uh, try to ID them. I, I'm pretty sure I know what most of them are. There's a couple genes that were hidden in the dad that I'm not sure what he was. Um, so I'm probably gonna post online to see if other people with a little more knowledge than me can help me ID them so I can put them on Morph Market in a couple weeks and, um, you know, sell them for what they, uh, what I think they are. So let's take a look at mom and dad and all the babies. All right, guys, so here is the whole family. So mom, who's this big girl right here, um, mom and dad are in shed right now, so uh, he's not very white and she's not as colorful as she normally is. She's a lemon blast. So that is pinstripe and pastel. Um, you can see the pinstripe pattern on her back here. And the pastel really lightens her up Typically, just normal pinstripes are kind of a gold color. They don't have the big uh, difference in color going down their side right here. This is kind of really yellow when she's not shedding. And this is more like a greenish brown color. Um, and there were only two babies that came out of this clutch that had pinstripe in them. <clears throat> and they're actually called jigsaws. Which are these two babies here. Get right back in there. And I think one of them is a pastel jigsaw, and the other one is just a normal jigsaw. And a jigsaw is a Mojave and a pinstripe combined. And Dad's trying to get away here. Come here, Daddy. And there is the jigsaw combo. And I think this one here on the right is the pastel. Now, the nice thing about this combination, especially when you're working with supers, which is what the dad is here, he's a super Mojave. Um, he's an all-white snake with blue eyes, and the Super Mojaves have a slightly gray or purple tint to their head, which is hard to see right now because he's not, because he's in shed. Um, but a Super Mojave means that everything that comes out of this clutch is going to include the Mojave gene, and the only snake that I actually got here that's a single gene Mojave is this little guy right here. Um... So this is what a Mojave looks like. <clears throat> it's close to the normal pattern on a normal ball python. Um, there's some light flaring up the sides. The dorsal line is typically like a little more yellow. You might actually have pastel in them too. Now that I'm looking at the top, the saddles are a little brighter. Um, so he may actually be a pastave, which is a pastel Mojave. But this is what the pattern of a normal Mojave looks like. If you breed two Mojaves together, because they're blue eye leucistic, you get this. So this is a Mojave with one gene, and this is two Mojave genes, which is kind of a very, very crazy difference in genes. Um, just how much of a difference it makes just putting two genes together. But so the nice thing is when you put two, a super Mojave or any super, um, and I would say a large portion of the ball python morphs uh, can be bred to make supers, which means they carry two copies of the gene. Um, if you have a super, that means that the parent is going to pass on that gene no matter what. So he's super Mojave, and every single one of these babies has the Mojave gene in them. Whereas the mom is a pastel pinstripe, because she's not a super, uh, there is no super pinstripe, but there is a super pastel, all of these babies do not necessarily have to carry one of those genes. And, and as you can see, there's only two jigsaws, um, which is Mojave Pinstripe. And so she only passed on Pinstripe to two of the babies. There's, I think actually quite a few pastels. I believe those bananas a pastel. Um, I think this one jigsaw is a pastel. He might, the Mojave might be a pastel too. Um, but because she doesn't have any super genes in her, these babies don't necessarily need to carry those genes. So when you can work with supers, that's a great way to go. Um, 
because it guarantees that gene is going to get passed along to the babies. Sometimes you don't want to do that. Um, but in this case, um, you know, everything came out Mojave, so I'm guaranteed not to have any normal babies. Now I'm going to go through these babies one by one, take them out, kind of just show you what their genes are, and then I'm going to get them weighed and try to figure out if they're boys or girls and put them away in their tubs individually. And I'll also be trying to feed them their first meals either today or tomorrow. Um, so this one is definitely Mojave um, because the dad's a super. All of these babies are Mojave, which is a really cool gene just by itself. It's one of my favorite just base genes. Um, the, I love the yellow line down their back and a, a two gene combo that looks amazing is a GHI in Mojave. It really intensifies the dark colors in that dorsal stripe in the back. Um, but as I'm looking at him, I, you know, I can't tell if he's pastel or not. Um, some of the lightning on his dorsal kind of makes me think that it's pastel. But like I said, this is really my first, this is my second clutch ever. In the first clutch, um, where I'm actually going to have to ID snakes because my first clutch is all Super Mojaves, which are easy to tell. And the dad, he's a Super Mojave and he's all white, but he also carries the banana gene, which is some of these other babies we'll get to, the ones that are kind of orange and purple, um, which is completely hidden when you have a Super Mojave, an all white snake. It also happens when you have Super Yellow Bellies, which are ivories and Super Fires. Anything that creates a white snake is basically going to mask all of the genes behind it. Um, so unless you're breeding suit, like I have a, um, I have a super pastel, super butter female. Um, I know she's super pastel because the guy who bred her used two super pastel butter snakes. So when you have two super pastel parents, um, all the babies are going to come out super pastel. So um, sometimes, though, you can't guarantee those genes until you prove out the snakes. So this one's just a, a base Mojave, possibly Pastave, but I'll um, try to confirm that with people that are, are a little more familiar with IDing snakes. Baby number two is going to be the Jigsaw, which is the Mojave pinstripe combo. It really makes a neat pattern just for a two combo snake. It gives you that really bright line down the middle of its back. And it keeps the sort of alien head pattern, but it pinstripes them up. Um, the middle of the back carries a kind of neat jagged pattern down their spine, which is really cool. Um, this one is, looks like just to be a plain jigsaw. And let me pull the other one and I'll show you the difference. And this one is the... One I would think is the pastel. It's a lot lighter, well, especially on the sides. You can see how much darker that one is. Even the head too. The difference in the head color. They were really pretty, really cool, and they're all Mojaves. And so far, they look like they have blue eyes too. So it's kind of a neat thing as well as they get bigger. Um, you know, you'll be able to see their eyes a little better in, in the right light, but it makes them look a really pretty snake. All right, so the rest of the babies are all bananas, and these actually came from the dad's gene pool. Um, so when I bought him, he was sold to me as a Super Mojave, possible banana, Enchi, and fire. Um, I don't know if Enchi popped on it popped out in any of these. They definitely didn't in the other three snakes. Um, I tried to look up other bananas and bana they're all banana Mojaves because he's super Mojave. Um, and they all have high variability in their patterns. So, you know, as you can see, this one pretty much has the alien heads, um, like normal. Um, and let me see, let me grab one of these other guys. This guy right here, The pattern is a lot more broken up. Um, kind of looks like it could be an Enchi type pattern, but I've also seen regular 
banana Mojaves have a pattern that was that scrambled. Um, but as you can see, I mean, these are all like interconnecting. Nothing is just a straight um, alien head like it is here on the one on the left. The other cool thing is, and I'm assuming, I don't know if this is the fire or not showing up in this snake. Um, the snake on the right here is a lot more orange, and this one on the left here is a lot more purple. Um, you can see it going down their back, the difference in coloration on them. Um, I'm really kind of curious what they're going to turn out like um, as they get a little bigger. I'm probably not going to hold back any of these because uh, the dad's a banana, and I also have a banana super enchi male that I didn't breed this year um, that I'll be using for my banana breeding going forward, so I don't really need to probably keep any of these guys. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of variability in the remaining four bananas I have here. Let me pull the other two up so you can see them as well. And so far from checking out the other three snakes, they all look like they were females. And there's a trait tied to bananas where they only produce males or females specifically like 99 percent of the time um and it looks like he may be a female maker unless my odds are just super weird and i pulled out three first snakes and they're all females um but as you can see the bananas are just a really striking snake they don't always keep this color as they get older you know a plain banana will come out with these bright lavenders and bright oranges but as it gets older it gets just it really looks like a banana. They start to get um, like black freckles all over their bodies and they turn more into a yellow color. Um, but I will pull out my banana male. Um, he's about a year old at this point and he has uh, super inchy and fire in him. And he's actually not started freckling yet. So, um, you know, it really depends on which other genes are in the snake uh, when you're picking out a banana. Um, they're this bright when they're young, but they're not going to stay this color. Um, and that happens with a lot of snakes too. A lot of other genes. Um, if you get the right combos, sometimes they do keep their coloration. Um, but it's always best to, when you're looking at a baby, to kind of look for adults of the same genes and see what they look like when they're adults. Because if you look up a banana, they don't look anything like this. So... These are the four I have left. I'm going to have to figure out um, what genes they are. I really, all I know is they're banana Mojave. Um, I don't know if there's Enchi in them or not. And I, it's really hard for me to tell which ones are pastel and if fire's in any of them. Um, if I had to guess, this one right here is pastel or fire because of how bright the dorsal stripes are. Um, the rest of them... They have the lighter heads, like they would be pastels. Whereas this one has just a plain orange head. Um, and it's possible that these other ones are pastels and maybe he's a fire. But he doesn't have the head stamp like a fire would. Um, so I don't really know what he is. He's actually the biggest one of them all, too. See, there's no f traditional fire head stamp on there, but he's actually the brightest one out of all four. So, um, I'm definitely going to need help IDing these four guys a little more than the other ones, but we'll figure it out and we'll get them posted online here in a couple weeks and we'll, uh, you know, get them out the good homes. But let me put these guys back and then what I'll do is I'm going to pull, I'm going to compare this to my uh, other banana male real quick just to show you what they can look like as they get older. All right, so this is my banana male. He's a little over a year old. Um, he has super inchy, and you can actually sort of see the patterning in there underneath the banana color, and he's a fire. Um, I believe that's all he was sold to me as. Nice. Let me get his head on here too. As you can see, I'm, now I'm thinking that one might be fire because his head is pretty much all yellow too. It doesn't have any other color in it. But as you can see, you know, any of the purples uh, that were in him 
aren't there. Um, he wasn't super purple to begin with because of the other jeans he has. Like the Enchi, especially when you get super Enchi, some of them can be a little more orange. Um, so that could have brought more of the orange and yellow colors out in him. But if you compare that to one of these babies, um, that's a big difference. Um, you know, there's a lot of pattern in the baby and a lot of purple in this boy, my Danky Kang here, has none of that. He is basically all shades of yellow and white and nothing else. So he's definitely going to produce some really cool babies. Um, but bananas can vary a lot depending on what other genes are in there. Bananas are a very dominant gene. Um, they're going to make almost everything look like it's a banana. Um, but depending on what genes you add in there, they can vary a lot too. You know, this one on the right is Banana Mojave, and he's a super enchy fire banana, and they look nothing alike. You wouldn't even probably even guess that they're the same genes. So, um, you know, when you're looking at snakes, whether you're buying it as a pet or whether you're buying it as, you know, a breeding project, make sure you do your research and look over, um, you know, what you're going to pair it up to and what the different genes can do together. Um, sometimes it's a nice surprise when you get something, you're like, whoa, what was that? And other times you're like, Ugh, I didn't really plan on that. You know, if you're breeding two Mojaves together and there's, you you know, you want to hit a Mojave GHI, but both parents are Mojaves, well, there's a chance you're getting an all white snake and you're never going to see that GHI in there. And you might be upset by that. Um, I wouldn't because they're both cool combos. And if you're looking to sell them, the Moha the Super Mojave sell for a pretty good price tag. Um, I think the last ones I sold when I had the three I had, um, the females 500 and the males I sold for 450. Um, so they get some pretty good money. Um, GHI Mojaves really vary when they're young. I've seen them price that 200 to 400. Um, so, but you want to make sure you know what you're breeding, you know, a super yellow belly, you, know, you breed two yellow bellies together. Uh, super yellow belly is all white and very few things can come through in that pattern. If you breed two fires together, um, a super fire is pretty much all white too. And, and most other genes aren't going to come through it in that, in that set. So just make sure you know what you're breeding and you know what comes out of it. So you're not surprised by any of the combos you get. All right, guys, that is it for today. I'm going to get the rest of these guys weighed out and um, I'm going to take pictures of them so I can have them to post online to get, uh, you know, people's opinions on what genes they think they are. Um, and I'm going to figure out if they're male or female. So far, I think I'm three for three on females. So it's possible that uh, my dad is a banana female maker. Um, but yeah, just really cool. Just the variability in uh, the pattern just on the bananas here too. They're, I mean, they are awesome looking when they're young. Um, super bright orange, super deep purple colors. Um, they kind of remind me of like the Purple Passion or the Mystic Potion when they're super bright and when they're young. Um, but they are really cool snakes. Um, I'm really excited to see these guys grow up a little bit here, maybe shed out another time before I get rid of them or sell them. Um, see them grow up and just see what their colors look like in a couple weeks as well because I've never actually grown uh, you know bananas up from being this small I think when I bought my other male he was already a couple months old so I just I'm kind of curious to see if their colors change a lot you know in the next three or four weeks before they uh they go to their new homes so thanks again for stopping by um please remember to like and subscribe comment down below let me know if you like the video um let me know if there's anything uh you think I can add to it to make it more exciting for you um, and just make the channel better in general. So that's it for today. Thanks again and take care.